Well, 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 look who we have here. Look who decided to show his face. <laughs> Yo, no, 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 let's, let's start positive. Hello everybody, this is Red McNed, and welcome back to the saga. So, it's been a long time. I haven't been able to do much with my channel for a little bit. I've had to go and, uh, you know, attend to other things around. It was all important stuff. But I think I'm at the spot, dare I say, where I can at least make one more video. <laughs> uh, this, um, I'm hoping it'll be weekly. Get back on that weekly thing, because that was fun. But I can't really guarantee it quite yet, so we'll just see what happens. At least I can get a video out. I did want to comment briefly on the fact that uh, the channel has broken into the triple digits. Strangely enough, the month that I was away. It was uh, probably the biggest month, <laughs> biggest growth of my channel. Um, I don't really have an explanation for that. But I guess the subscriber count does what it'll do. I don't really put too much stake in it. I'm more interested just in having people be able to find my channel that want to. And if that's the thing, that's what's interesting to me. Subscriber count, that's nice. But I really don't want to have to focus too much on that. So anyways, enough dilly-dallying. We got work to do. It's about time that I made a Zelda dungeon in Minecraft. And really, I think the best place to put it is right down there somewhere. Ready? Go for distance! <laughs> can't quite make it. I also can't quite ever get tired of that, apparently. Alright. So this is, this is where... Okay, here. This is where it all kind of stopped and I said adventure is going to continue but not for now. That was way back when, that was then, this is now. The adventure must continue. I want this to be like a flooded cave that kind of winds around this way a little bit and then comes to an entrance. So I'm going to just kind of dig back and kind of... Alright so let's talk occupational hazards here. Alright so apparently digging around at level 5 um, not not the best for uh, for keeping lava away. So what I think is gonna happen is gonna need to start going up with this thing. I guess in no time like the now, you know. Uh, <laughs> back on. Tr oh no. Quick tip: uh, build a little pit for the lava if it's falling down. All right. So here's a question: What do you do when you find yourself? at the bottom of a lava lake and you want to get through it. It's not a rhetorical question. I, I have no actual... Um, I can't really say what I'm, my technique is here. <laughs> I guess like build a pit, uh, dig up till you find lava and hope that you can like put down a block. <laughs> oh, I killed it. Uh-oh, I think we found a way out. Oh, and look at that. Look at that. Uh-oh, okay. Cave time. What's in here? What's in here? Okay, this this is nice and not nice. Um, because this is scary. Mob's a little harder these days. Okay, there's the lake. But we might be able to use this. Might be able to use this to uh, have a network of caves that leads where I want it to. Um, I'm going to light some of this up. Alright, I did some scouting ahead at the spot I wanted to clear up. Uh, I didn't really do much here yet. This is the river thingy. And uh, past this, this is where I want to be. Uh, I decided to clear out this area. This is going to be kind of the front entrance of what we're going to build. I decided to make the floor of this 5 by 26 in case you were wondering. I want to make this kind of a tall entrance. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise this starting from here kind of like 1, 2, 3, that sort of thing. I'm going to get it up to about 26 blocks in height. Just bring this whole thing up. So as you can see, or or as I'm about to sh uh, nope, not going to show you because I lagged out of existence. One one FPS right now. We're rocking the one FPS, ladies and gentlemen. 
So nothing too crazy, just, you know, going up. I leave a little shelf, and then I can uh, take away blocks above it. I am running into other caves, but luckily I had the foresight to kind of walk around because I, I thought I heard some sounds, and I said, oh, there's some caves, and I don't want to get sneak attacked. So, yeah, these, these would have all been uh, dark as soon as I got to them if I hadn't done that, and that super pays off. So that's all I have to say about that. And there, that's uh, where you want to be. So let's see, if I counted this correctly, it should be 13 from that torch there and from this torch to that torch. So this is going to be the entrance. So check this out. You're going to be like, what's over here? And then walk along and you're going to be like, oh, this is a big thing. <laughs> and then you're like, oh, okay, entrance. Why not? So for this part, let's see, from this block right here, this one right here. Counting this, I'm going to go 63 blocks in. Now, I can't help but notice that I have heard quite a few zombie sounds, and I don't exactly know where they've come from. I find this a little... Um, oh. Uh... Oh. Uh-oh. Alright, I took a little diversion there. Uh, apparently, dug my way into a huge mineshaft complex, and I kind of did, you know, the thing where you go around and see just how huge it is. Uh, just to keep track, I made this tunnel, and for the first five, I put a torch, the first then to ten. So every torch after this is another ten. So it's ten, twenty, thirty... 40, 50, 60, way up there, and there's 63, boom. Um, I have some more decisions for this. It's going to be kind of a big room, I think. So in order to make this happen, I want to be 16 wide from there to quick pan there. And counting this block here, so 1, 2, 3, ah, uh, up 11 blocks. And something worth showing. I got kind of lucky. Almost hit my head on this. And, um, yeah. Uh, yes. So I decided to have this starting here, like one, two, three. I decided to make this 48 blocks in that direction. This gives me a pretty big hallway. What do I want to do with the hallway? I want to make this like a, um, like if that's the main entrance out there, I want to have this kind of like, just a little narrow thing into like a uh, mildly impressive to impressive hallway. I don't know. I'll shoot for the stars, but you know. Anyways, I think I'm on a roll, so I'm going to keep going. And I'm going to go with the format of just giving little progress updates, because I think that works the best right now. All right, I think I got it. I think I got the next part. So this is going to be like a tunnel. Nope, it's going to be a tunnel and it's gonna be full of water I'll figure out how exactly or why but this is going to be since it's a water themed tunnel you gotta, you gotta put some not not water themed tunnel water themed temple you gotta put some water in it that's the way I see it so we're gonna have this be like a pipe that you can swim up so you know hold your breath pretty good I like these because it's like you just go too deep in here and like, put a torch there, fence there, and keeps the water from going in, and I think that looks kind of nice. Um, so anyway, this tunnel is from here, from this wall basically, to that furthest wall, uh, 14 blocks. But going up there, I know I could edit that to look like I jumped up, but no, I'm going to take the stairs. All right, so here we are. This is what I got. So there's three there, and two on this side. It's sort of like an oval opening, and this is like an oval room, or an office, oval office. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven go in both directions and toward the front, but only six 
going this way. Basically a wall that's four here, then two, then two. It's kind of the theme. So four, two, and two. And yeah, there's a notch there. This is actually inspired by the water tuple from one of the Zelda games from this point. There's like one of the games where you swim up a pipe and you come into this room and I'm trying to rebuild it kind of. All right, good news. I think I've got this about halfway figured out. I'm so funny, aren't I? <laughs> Right, so my, my thoughts were that if I could build half of it, I can kind of, sh like exactly, down the middle, I can kind of show the before and after, instead of just me saying, okay, I built it, it's all done. Because I wanted to give kind of a better idea of how I did this stuff. Like, I could just build something and say, okay, I'm done, here it is, but I don't find that quite as entertaining uh, to watch or to do, really. I kind of want to see if I can give my thought process behind what's going on here. So, this is going to be like, you swim off the pipe, you see on this, there's some nice kind of columns, and the sides are a little indented on the top and bottom. So it's basically like this outskirts that's kind of like, you can walk around it. And you end up walking up this, and it'll lead to the next room. The next series of rooms or whatever. I like that because you can't just walk straight into it. It forces you to kind of Explore the area, you go to the entrance, then just make it a beeline, like, up and straight. So, I, but I, I cannot take credit for that, because this is going to start becoming really influenced by the Water Temple in uh, Zelda Twilight Princess. I felt the halfway approach didn't really do this justice, kind of looking at them like this. So I went ahead and made a full one here. And as you can see, oh, it's, it's kind of nice, kind of old, kind of interesting. Um, what I want to do is have water going along this. Actually, I want you to pretend that I'm water. Okay, so I'm going to be coming through uh, something here. I can either go off the sides here into these little pools on the side, which all of these little things are going to have. Or I'll be walking, or whatever, <laughs> down this, falling in. So there's a lot of paths for the water to go along here. And from here, it's uh, I went ahead and dug this out just because I'm, uh, I, I, wanna, I wanna know the water's going somewhere that makes sense. It's gonna go up here, go along the inside of there. And what this is gonna be is like a little walkway with water falling just in here on both sides. So it's gonna be two water walls. And like, if you look over here, you can kind of see that it kind of comes from somewhere. So that it's, you know, it doesn't look like it's a, an impossible thing to be happening. And the outside, the outside. Let's try to break this down in manageable pieces. This base here is four out, is basically, ba basically, basically here. And then it comes right along back in here. That's simple enough. Uh, right in front of this wall is where I went ahead and started the columns. So there's two here, and there's three spaces in between, then three of them here, and there's the short part. I just kind of chose spots I thought looked good to kind of put a halfway point, and then a roof thing. And since this one's a little bit taller, I put the halfway point a little bit further up, and the roof thing a little bit further up. And it's going to basically mirror image on this side. So I'm going to get up there, actually. Right, the roof things. They're basically a uh, slanted wedge. Um, I went like one out from where this is, and then basically half slab height to the middle. Uh, I still used andesite. This is all polished andesite for these and bricks here. Uh, you might have noticed I pushed this wall one back, and then I replaced that back wall with bricks. And I felt like that kind of gave it a little bit more depth. As far as what goes on up here with the rest of this squared off room, I don't know, I think, I think I'm going to naturalize it somehow, maybe blend it in with a cave, but I don't really want people wandering in here to like wander off and get lost in a cave. I'd rather them just kind of go straight into the building, be impressed by the size of it, and they can start their journey that way. As far as the pillars go, 
with like explaining how they're made it's kind of difficult to like talk my way through it theoretically while staring at one I'd rather just build one for you so since they're mirror images from right down the middle I'll just pick one of these and kind of continue it so this is one two three four so I'm gonna do a one two three four on the fourth one I make these full blocks because this ground is gonna eventually get this kind of treatment. Uh, let's see, there's two of them pretty much close to each other, so I'll do them at the same time. Goes six up in total, so that's one on the bottom. And six. And the sixth one is gonna have upside down stairs facing outward like that. I'm just gonna make that for both sides. A little jumpy jump. Stairsy stair. And then in between them, the uh, upside down stair facing out. Looks good from the bottom. And that's that's what I'm going for. This is kind of the T of it, so there's one there and two on each side. Going sideways. So see it hooks up with the other one. Do the same here. And next to this, I'm gonna do a uh, solo slab. Solo slab? <laughs> we do a half slab. There we go. That's just gonna make it so that the water doesn't just fall out. In fact, I'll do one here too. And starting right above the pillar, I'm gonna have two more of these. I can go ahead and fill in this bottom line with half slabs here. And on the sides, it's upside down stairs facing out and I'm not gonna do the whole thing here and I'm gonna make sure I put a torch in here so nothing comes and blows up as things tend to do I throw a block here because I like once the water goes in here it's gonna have this much space to flow down and then out but it looks like this and I like it also this looks really gray right now but when it gets some more water in here it's gonna look better these things are kind of tricky, but we can we can do one. Just go right on the opposite side. I basically put them right in between these. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So at the fourth one, uh, yeah, there it is. Oh, I should probably go over that. There's nine blocks in between these on the pool end. Uh, seven here. Seven. And eleven. Uh, the reason I did that is I wanted to have kind of more space in between this arch and this first one to make the room seem bigger. Because you look at there like, oh wow, there's a lot of room between these arches. And you think, well, look at all the other arches. It must be the same amount of room. But in reality, I tricked you. It's a little forced perspective. So you think it's longer. <laughs> but in reality, I know I'm, I'm cracking up about my own, my own uh, cleverness here. But in, in reality, it's not as far, but it just looks further. And I kind of like stuff like that. And I'm really getting sidetracked. <laughs> Whatever, I'm not going to stop myself. <laughs> Just because that's like the pool. That's, that, that has to be there eventually. Alright, no more distractions. No more distractions. No more excuses. Even though I didn't prepare this wall. Whatever, I'll just show. <laughs> I'll have to tear this down when I tear down the wall. But whatever, it's, I do it for you, okay? Let's just let's just do this. So upside down stair. Those are both andesites. So if we get an upside down stair. There we go. We get an upside down there stair. Oh yeah, nice. And then you get that nice little candle holder. So it's not going to be a candle holder. The flat half slab. The flat slab. This is going to be water is going to funnel out and drop down. Um, just like I did. Alright, I think I covered everything. I think I just explained myself. Hope I did. So with that being said, I'm gonna work on this and see how far I can get. Alright, I think I finished up. So, at least at least the construction parts that I wanted to. So, here, here it all is in all of its glory. The main entrance. I put little lights in the backs where uh, things would spawn. 
So I really, you know, just making sure safety, you know. Also down here, I like to look at the, uh, the light level thing. Just kind of walk along, see if it ever goes into seven. Never does. It goes into eight. And half slabs, eh, nothing spawns in those, so no worries. But anyways, it's the front. Uh, I do realize that you can't really see much of it because it's like <laughs> we're really close here. Um, if I could change something, it'd probably be to push this wall, uh, this wall back, and probably make this a better entrance. But anyway, it's all completed. Here's the entryway. I went ahead and put a little notch in here because, yeah, it looks if you jump down there, you're like. Hey, this water's not going anywhere, but I like to at least make it look like the water's flowing somewhere. Otherwise, it's just like dropping into this thing. It should be flooding if there's like no outlet. So, you know, you can just think, yeah, maybe there's something under there. And then you think, well, where's it coming from? Well, if you swim up here, uh, you can't really get in here, but you can tell that there's areas where things kind of, you know, curve up and go away, I guess. So that's. And, oh, and also there's this uh, this thing over here. So this thing running along the top and gets all the water to all the goodies, the good stuffs. <laughs> so anyways, this, this is all of it completed. I did change a couple things. Like I was going to have this just the square, but then I thought, you know, if this, if this tube is full of water, it's going to be pushing water out. Like, it's going to be flooding right here, in particular. So, trying to logic through this stuff, I kind, I think I, I figured out what I wanted to do okay. Uh, these, I went ahead and just kind of put the water in further back. So that it kind of disappears from view. You don't really know where the water is coming from. And there's the, there's the top canal. You jump in here, fill this all up. And you can swim up it nice and easy because I did it level by level starting at the bottom. It's a little tip. If you don't want to make it easy to swim up, just put all the water at the top. Then it's all falling water instead of sitting water. And here's the room. And with this room, I commemorate. Bit of a long title, but uh, it's fine. That's fine. So you would swim up here. This is the plan. And you'd say, okay, let's go this way. And then you'll walk through here and it'll be the start. But yeah, I also put this way back. And if you can hear it, I have like falling water just on the, just right on the outsides of this. Like if I dug in here, yeah, there's, well, oh, no. Yeah, I put that on each side so it'll sound like there's at least running water. So if you want to track where the water's going, it starts up here from an unknown source, it goes in here, and I went ahead and put this here to kind of make it seem plausible. Here, I'll just wait. <laughs> I put that there to make it plausible that it's um, feeding into this. And since there's a lot of water in there, it would make sense that it just kind of gushes out through here. And there's a lot of it. And it goes along its journey. I'm going to run in the water because I've got boots that do that. And I went ahead and put a second source here of a sort of unknown origin. And it floods down in there. Good. And then down here. Like, I feel like that would be overflowing. I talked about that. And this is all filling up. Well, where does it go? I went ahead, dug out a thing to make it look like it just keeps going. And back to this room, I would say... Oh, yeah, this is another spot I, I checked for lighting. And yeah, it goes down to 8 right there. And there and there, but never less. And I did that everywhere to really make sure. Because I don't want stuff spawning on anything. Now the next part would be probably trying to make this an easier way to get in and out because right now it's just kind of this I kind of like this I like the idea of this so instead of you know trying to reinvent the wheel and like make this other thing I put the dirt there to kind of even out the ground but I can use it as a guide you know it can guide me so 
Let's see. Maybe take out the first block from each edge. Something like that. Maybe throw in a couple uh, couple half slabs. It's starting to look good. Looks like something. Like I said, I would probably push this out a little further so you can see more of it. Because right now it's kind of, you have to crane your neck up pretty high to see it. I do like this though. I like this stream. Um, I like this cave. I think the next part would be just like widening uh, everything. I think we can just... Oh yeah. Well, I think that just about wraps it up. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for uh, your patience with me being gone for a while. And like I said, this might not be a return to the weekly schedule, but I did want to at least get a video out. Starting a project that I think is going to be really exciting. And hopefully with any luck, I'll be right back on task. Right back on weeklies. Making videos. And have a good time. So anyways, with all that being said, thank you for watching. This has been Red McNed. This has been another episode of the saga. And I'll see you next time.